Can you be a full stack developer without design skills? This is an email that was recently put to me. Short answer is, of course. And the key to this is to use templates. So when I'm talking about templates, I'm talking about the visual component of your web app. That's the HTML, that's the CSS, that's the JavaScript. Now, if you balk at that, if you're like, well, I don't know if I should use templates, Developers constantly use other people's code, whether they're frameworks or libraries or visual templates. If you use Bootstrap, you are using a template, you are using other people's code, and that is 100% legit. Nobody should build things from scratch unless they absolutely have to. Remember the top three rules of development, reuse, reuse, and reuse. This video is brought to you by Keen, the ultimate multi-demo bootstrap administrator theme, the most complete UI UX template solution for today's web project of any size. So Keen essentially is a bunch of HTML and CSS and JavaScript built on top of bootstrap. You got a bunch of templates, you got a bunch of widgets, it allows you to quickly create a really beautiful and functional administrative back in for your projects. If you're a code monkey, you're somebody who's really good at writing code, but your design skills are and you're worried about whether or not you can be a full stack developer, not a problem as I mentioned just now. If you leverage themes that will take care of all your problems. One of the basic principles in life and in business is that you partner with people who have skills that complement your skills not people with the same skills, but people who have skills that you don't have, skills that you need to bring in. Now, one way you can bring in those skills is through using templates, using themes for the visual component of your web apps and your website, or using libraries and frameworks for the back end of your website. As I said previously, and in many videos, it's silly for developers to write their own code from scratch unless they absolutely have to. First thing I do when I approach any project is I look around out there in the interwebs. I wanna see what other people have done. I wanna see what other people have done because A, I, hopefully I can leverage their work and build off of that. B, you know, most, most people do that. They, they're called frameworks and libraries and themes. And B, you can at least learn some good ideas about what you like, what you dislike, or what in terms of what other people have done. And then you can build off of that as well. Nobody out there today is actively developing writes their own code from scratch. They're leveraging somebody else's code in some way. If you're using an operating system, if you're using an IDE, you are leveraging other people's code. So going back to the point of this video, can you become a full stack developer without design skills? 100%, you first of all, leverage themes and templates, whether it be a bootstrap based theme, like the sponsor of this video, Keen, or whether you're leveraging themes in WordPress or you're just leveraging basic website templates for some basic website you might be putting out there. Now, using templates uh, is a quick way to basically bring in somebody else's design skills. Now, when you do get that template, one of the first things you gotta not do is break the template. So how do you not break the template? That means being mindful of basic design principles that are almost mathematical. So let me just go over a couple of them. Number one, white space. White space is just basically making sure between your UI elements in your page that you leave uh, white space around them I call breathing room so that things don't look all squinched up and jumbled up. You want to uh, be mindful of white space, respect the rules of white space. It's a basic principle, but it's something, uh, something easy to implement, something to be careful about. Trust me, I've been in many projects where developers will take a template and they'll start messing around with it, deciding that they're gonna put things all, stick them all together, next thing you know you got this bloody mess. Number two, it's related to white space, is alignment. One of the basic rules of design is make sure, making sure things are lined up. So if you have columns, you know, make sure that you know, a paragraph doesn't start here, another one here, another one here. Line them up, line them up, line up things so that they all make sense. It's just pleasant for the eye. One of the uh, principles of, uh, of design 
is cognitive is the concept of cognitive load. You want to reduce the load. Cognitive load, cognitive meaning your cognition, your mental load. You, when somebody comes to your site, essentially, they have to see it and not be overwhelmed by that. And that has everything to do with good UI and UX. Good white, utilization of white space, alignment of elements so they can just go and find what they want. These are basic design principles that are easy to implement. And when you do get a theme or a template, be mindful not to break the alignment and the use of white space in that template. Another basic design principle is color matching. You don't want to mix colors that clash, like uh, red and black go well together, although that's pretty stark colors. But you want to go, you don't want to mix like a, a purple and a red, perhaps. There are color wheels and color matching uh, sites out there that will tell you which colors work well together. Again, these are basic principles. You have color themes and sch schemes, if you will. Uh, when you get a template, the designers are all very aware of this. Don't break the color scheme. So if they are using blues and light blues and teals, don't put in bright red and bright yellow elements that are just going to clash with everything and make the site look bad. So you got to respect color matching or color themes, if you will. Next basic principle is font use. There are different types of fonts. There are serif fonts and sans serif fonts. A serif font is a font that has a little, has a little flare on the end of it. Uh, Times New Roman is an example of that. And you got sans serif fonts, which are more clean, simple, and these fonts are used in different situations. So to traditionally, serif fonts with the flares, they're usually used for title elements. And sans serif, sans serif fonts are used in uh, body text and so paragraph text and so forth. Anyhow, a good template, a good theme will have the fonts in place. Another basic rule of font use is you don't want to have more than two fonts on a page. Maybe one font for your titles and another font for your body text. That's it. So there's, med, there's more basic design principles, but if you just follow these principles, white space, alignment, color matching, and font use, it will go a long way you not breaking a theme or a template you may be leveraging for your particular project. Once again, this video was sponsored by Keen. Keen, the ultimate multi-demo bootstrap and min theme, the most complete UI UX template solution for today's web projects of any size. So once again, well, let me just read this and I'll give you my two cents. Default demo. Keen is a multi-demo bootstrap for and min in dashboard that comes packed with endless number of UI components and plugin options. It's perfectly crafted and optimized with exceptional design and advanced layout features best suited for any modern web application project worldwide. So what's obvious is that Keen is an example of one of these templates, the themes that I talked about. Keen is specifically designed to make it easy to make it much quicker for you to be able to create a back-end dashboard. Now, this is something I would use, for example, the extensive back-end tools that we have for Studio Web. Uh, so let's look at the demos they have here. A modern CRM, an intranet app. They have a corporate back-end system, compact dashboard app. They got all kinds, lots of capabilities, lots of UI components. I was checking over the reviews of Keen, see what people are saying. Very highly reviewed, good support. This project is up to date. It's at 1.4 at this time of recording. So you know it's a solid code base. It's not a, a 1.0 type of thing. This is uh, something that's mature. So it's definitely worth looking into. So let's take a look at a demo. So here you go. So they provide all this capability for, here, for you here. So you would just tie this in with your backend systems so you don't have to figure this out. The color schemes are in place, the layouts, the UI components are in place. Using Keen is going to save you a bunch of time. All right, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.